he was saying that uh, people that were breaking in were young kids that were hanging out in this, in this car, and that they were able to trace it and they reported it to the police department. Do you know anything about that? I know car break-ins went down for the month, but around, but around this area, specific area, no. Yeah. This is information to me, and I will pass it on to my office. What's happened the last 30 days at the Thomas Square that you occupy, and the other homeless situations? I know it's a mm -hmm. tough talk for you guys. Our community policing team usually coordinates with um, the, the city's uh, enforcers of that law. We have you know, patrol, we don't really participate in that. Nine out of ten times, by the time I come in at 1400, which is 2 p.m., it's already, it's already been done. The dust is settling, and it's just a matter of going back and forth between the city agencies. Uh, GFM and uh, community policing team. The last time I was at this meeting was in February, so, so I wasn't here at the last meeting, so I have, I have no information on that. As far as your first post here, so that particular address? I've never, well, in the last month I haven't heard that address go out on the air. Yeah, I have a question um, uh, concerning the uh, raids on Occupy and the homeless on the Victoria Street site. You know, I've never seen a raid with just DFM personnel, like the police are always there, so that's why I think a lot of the questions get directed to the police. I have a particular question that is a theft complaint made by Laulani Teal uh, on West Chun on April 30th. Do uh, you have any, did that make it into the report? Do you have any information about that? Nope. Well, it was concerning that banner, so mm -hmm. is there a way of finding out? Um, you, would you would have to deal with either a community policing team or DFM. I was actually acting under the Kanawai Malahoy um, about a week and a half ago at Thomas Square Park um, because the, the Kanawai Malahoy, the law of essential cattle, was inducted into the Hawaii State Constitution in 1978. So th that same symbol on your badge is what I was uh, uh, was raising under, and you guys still arrested me. Can you can you can you kind of? I wasn't there. I cannot speak for the officers that were there. You would have to ask those. I mean. Our policy is to let you know what you're arrested for, so I'm pretty sure they did let you know what you were arrested for. But I was acting under a law that you, that's even on your badges, so I mean, doesn't that contradict a little bit about what you do as part of Me personally, no. No. I uphold the city and county ordinances and the U.S. Constitution. Not the Hawaii State Constitution. So you would, ha you would ha not have a problem violating the uh, law of the splintered paddle? Next question. That Silence answer. Um, I actually have another question directed about Thomas Square. Um, I came here on April 10th and experienced two raids. And then it was the third raid that I was here for. Uh, HPD decided to start cordoning off with, with crime scene tape and telling us that there was a crime being committed while they let other people go down the sidewalk we were pushed away from the sidewalk, and I'm wondering if, if you could explain what crime was being committed and what justification... Well, first of all, I wasn't there. I don't know if there was a crime that was committed. Okay. I cannot say for sure there was. For them to use crime tape, that's part of our protocol at times. And, like I said, I wasn't there, so I cannot answer for those officers. Okay. You don't doesn't know anything. He doesn't no, know anything. Doesn't do. Can't answer. He doesn't and know. Most of the time when I start, all of that is settled from Occupy and a lot of things that happen during the day. Okay. Yeah. I noticed there's a there's an officer here. Do you know anything about what went on? No, but I just want to clarify. I'm Lieutenant Baron Lee with District One, and as far as the team, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Is there a way? Wait, wait, wait. Chris had his hand up. Oh, the officer said that he upholds the city ordinance. Isn't uh, Bill 54 and the uh, actions that you guys have taken part of the city ordinance? Well, it's the city you ordinance. Stand by during the enforcement of DFM. DFM <laughs> takes enforcement. We are standing by, like the lieutenant said, to take enforcement on any laws that are violated. Then why did I get arrested? I wasn't. During a, a Bill 54 attack. The officer who Acting arrested under you, that law. The officer who arrested you should have informed you why you were being arrested. 
if he did it? No, they, uh, Trish, just, Trish just said, arrest her. And that's Trish what happened. Did, yeah. I wasn't yeah. Got it off. Officer should have informed you of how you were under arrest for. But probably DFM would have been um, would have been involved with it too. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes then the officer will. Trish is uh, officer housing. Officer housing. That's true. She used to be a prosecutor. Yeah, she was. She used to be a prosecutor. So as far as your specific situation, I'm not. I'm not familiar with it. Anybody else? Yes. Thank you. If you can ask the mayor, since Occupy Honolulu is in this uh, neighborhood area, there are always issues about it. It's always on the agenda that when you send police, do you think you could send somebody that actually knows something that's gone on or has maybe read the logs of the arrests and raids so that they could answer some questions? Because I have a video of him just saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and I don't know, and I don't know. And you think that's going to end up at YouTube? It sure is. So they can either answer questions or they can be seen as not knowing anything. That's, that's my question. 